hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Nikki and I'm so glad to have you here so today um, you probably guessed it it's gonna be a hair video and we are going to try something that um, the last time we tried ended up in some sort of a disaster but we are hoping to change that okay technically it's not the last time to be fair I've straightened my hair a bit more, but it's it's kind of different. It's kind of new and interesting. I got some devices um, that I would like to try out in this video, and that is going to end up with hopefully my hair straight. And I'm so excited to catch you up on that. But first, we have to do the prep work, and you'll need to see what I was up to. <laughs> So we're going to be seated under this heated cap situation for quite a bit just to let my hair soak in the goodness of the products that I've put in. I was using the pre-shampoo by African Pride. This thing is the truth. We've talked about it before. You need to have it. And now we are just going to do the wash and then come back and then talk about the new toys. I know I look different, but don't get distracted. We'll get to this in a minute. But before that, let's talk about what we used for our wash day. So I left off when I was going to wash my hair. So this is what I actually used to wash my hair. This is the Enleven Natural Fruit Extract Raspberry and Red Apple Shampoo. When we're starting our natural hair journey, this line of products was such a heat. And it's technically not stopped being a heat really, but I found it in Tuskies when they were having the closing sale or whatever sale, the rundown sale, and I wanted to pick it for all time sake. So this is a sulfate shampoo and we know how we used to hate sulfate shampoos. We don't anymore. We manage what they come with. And I... I've been absolutely loving it. It can be a little bit on the drying side, but just before stretching my hair, I really just wanted to get rid of all the product that I have on my hair and I hadn't washed my hair for about two months. So this, technically I had, but I had a protective style in for two months and I just wanted to wash it and just get rid of all the oils and everything that I had added over the course of time. Then I deep conditioned my hair so I used this. This is a TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask uh, Conditioner. I got this from a store that I'm going to link right here. And I love the fact that it's very moisturizing. And I love the fact that 
how the product feels and the kind of sleep that it has it hasn't necessarily stood out to me as a v product but it's one of the products that i really enjoy using and i mix that with my afoji keratin 10 minute reconstructor i swear by this stuff um this is all the protein that i usually have on my hair and every time i wash my hair i have just a little bit of protein to add on to it um protein i've been trying to read a little bit more on protein uh, conditioners and whether we need them or whether we don't so when i figure that out we can have a chat about them but these two are the ones that i use to dip condition and then i towel dried my hair so now we are just about to see uh, how my hair looked after three about two to three hours so i towel dry my hair i went and eat and had din dins with the bay and now i was coming to start to straighten my hair now, these are the tools that I used to straighten my hair and I want us to go into them. Uh, first, I detangled with a brush. We've talked about this brush in this video here. This is a detangling brush by Nyole Chronicles or I bought it from Nyole Chronicles and I've been really liking how um, it feels. I knew that I needed to use something that was super, a little bit more intensely detangling more than just my peak because i was going to blow dry and use brush tools that we're about to get in a second i love how this feels on my hair i love how it glides through i like the fact that it has very flexible um bristles so they don't snag on your hair they give you time to realize you have a tangle that you need to detangle i would 100 percent recommend this especially um if you are more of a soft haired person but even if you have hair as kinky as mine this could actually work for you so this is the brush we were using this is the umit the umit brush uh, and it's a dupe of the revlon brush you remember the revlon brush that took the internet by storm this is a good dupe for that so what it is is it's a blow dryer so it's a blow dryer that that is in brush form so i particularly wanted to have this because the traditional blow dryer makes my hands tired and i have such a hard time using that so this i, I thought would be a better option just because it's light and it's a motion that i'm already used to <music> So I was really scared about it snagging on my hair at the beginning and I didn't know necessarily what to expect but I was actually pleasantly surprised. So it has four, it has three technically heat settings. It has the cool setting. So cool means it's really high um, speed in terms of air but very little temperature. So that for those people who don't like to use necessarily heat on their hair as much that would be a good setting for you then there is the low setting so the low setting is moderately hot heat if that makes sense and it's the one that I was using the high setting I noticed smokes quite a bit and I wasn't necessarily interested in doing that because I had a second step to go through so I mostly use the low but it has cool low and high and it's a very ergonomic design it's nice to hold it's light to hold and it's easy to navigate the thing is when you're using this kind of brush and the bristles up here well they're nice uh, paddle brush bristles but they could snug on your hair if you haven't detangled properly and the trick with this is just a little bit more patience and a little bit more being in tune with your hair as far as drying my hair is concerned it really cut down my drying time more than um more than the traditional blow dry so i really enjoyed that and the fact that i was just able to get through the crannies and crooks now because i was using low heat i didn't have necessarily enough heat to get to my roots but because i knew i had a second step i didn't mind about that it was mostly that i was able to take a brush through my hair that was really important for this Sorry, I forgot to mention, this brush was from Afropeak KE. Again, I will mention it, I will tag them. And this was a recommendation that I got from This Is Us. So that's nice to mention.
So now that we are done with that, the third step now would be to use a straightening brush. So initially when I bought this next brush, I thought this is what I was going to get. It was a blue dryer with a brush um, that just looked different. But then I was pleasantly surprised and shocked in equal measure when it was actually something else. So this is basically a flat iron in a brush. Uh, it's the principle of a flat iron of hot pleats coming into contact with your hair, except it's in a brush form. This particular one has been really hyped in this country, this brand. This is a Philips BHHH, B Triple H. 880 i think that's what it's called and i got this from my red rhino i'll link them here and then oops and then this is the brush that i was going to use as the final ultimate star of the show so initially this is the first brush that i bought and i thought that i'd be able to use it as a one step but then after watching which was a mistake technically after watching a bunch of videos i figured out that I, it doesn't need your it doesn't want your hair to be wet or any traces of damp which ugh, I didn't like um so this brush was the one that was raved so much here in Kenya and I wanted to try it because everyone was like oh my god it does not snag it doesn't have sound blah 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 so I really wanted to try it because I wanted to be able to straighten my hair in the house I have a not so ideal experience when it comes to straightening my hair in different colors i shared one experience right here and so i did knew that i needed to start investing in some sort of straightening tools for myself at home so that i can be doing that for myself and just leave the braiding to the people who know best but straighten my hair at home so when this brush came along i really really was excited about trying it i remember inquiring about it the first time and it was out of stock and the good folks over at my red rhino were like when it comes back we got you which is exactly what happened. Now, the problem with this, though, that I soon realized after purchasing it for a pretty penny is that it is a flat iron in a brush, basically. And so that means your hair needed to be dry. Now, the problem with my dry hair, I am those people who have a sensitive scalp and a, and really tough hair. Let's say that. So this was not going to cut it for me just like that. Usually I need my hair to be slightly damp so that I can detangle properly then so that I can dry my hair. But this was like a second step that needed your hair to be dry so that then you can um, detangle through the process. So I ended up buying this first and then needing to buy the straightening brush the blow dryer brush next so that it could do the first step so that i can do this with the second step now as far as this on the second step is concerned i love it i love it i love the fact that the roots that the brush didn't catch this was able to catch because it wasn't blowing any hot hair to my scalp so i didn't have a risk of getting burnt it's the fact that also the outside bristles bristles of this brush do not get hot at all it's the inside that gets hot the inside bristles so the risk of you burning yourself is very very minimal i love this as well so this has two settings it has uh setting one setting two i'm going to figure out what the temperature is but i was just interested in using setting one to begin with just so that i test out everything and i see how that goes so i used setting one for this exercise at some point i got tired and boo boo came and did some parts of my hair because again reaching some angles is not the most comfortable stance
so with this brush and this product i only used one product at the beginning i did put a little bit of the leave-in conditioner this one's by mega growth this one that i used uh, but then at some point i thought it would hit weigh my hair down so i just ended up using this heat protectant as usual always use heat protectant and this one is the cream of nature argan oil heat protector smooth and shine polisher i love it i used just just a very little bit i used this at the beginning when i was blow drying my hair and then after I finished blow drying, I just took a bit of that and applied it through my hair and then used it when I was straightening my hair. Um, as you can see, my hair was not weighed down at all. I didn't get bone straight hair because that's what, what I was looking for. But I knew that if I went to temperature two, I would have gotten that. But I'm really, really happy with what I got. So let's talk about the pros and cons while I undo this hair. So this is me on the next day and that's why i was like yeah i look a little bit different but this is me on the next day i just put my hair in four different pieces let me remove this i put my hair in four are they called pigtails four plaits and i just want to remove them while we talk about it so the pros are the fact that with both the blow dryer brush and uh, the the straightener number one the straightening time was really really fast uh especially the blue dryer like i was finishing my sections really quickly working in sections is most ideal for those i always work in sections anyway because not working in sections will make me just feel very will cause me a lot of pain basically so working in sections really really does the trick when it comes to that i like the fact that it has different um, temperature stations so i'm able to control the amount of heat that i'm putting on my hair i also like the fact that with this particular brush i was not getting like i i didn't have fast this the the whole hot air and also i didn't have um to deal with the possibility of burning myself so that's really cool now let's talk about a little bit of the cons the first con with this brush is the fact that the high heat really starts smoking like really really early so that is not necessarily ideal but it's um apart from that this was a pretty good purchase i think now the other thing now with both of this when it comes to this as tools is the fact that they are brush tools and it's really hard to get the hair out so there's that. I'm shooting! No. You're talking to me fast. Are you okay? No, no, I can never have it. Okay. So that's it for today's video i'd like to know have you tried this brush before um how did you like it is it something that you'd be willing to try which of these two brushes have you tried and um do you think it's a good idea do you think it's a fantastic idea is it something that you're sold on to trying i'd really like to know all that remember to like and to subscribe um to like this video and to subscribe to this channel because that helps me a lot and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one for now it's a bye for me